Don't you ever notice when like just bad things just be happening, just boom, 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 boom. And you're just like, true, true. So, you're making the enemy mad right now. And before I go into this talk and speak about what I'm trying to say, I'm not talking about disobedience. <laughs> I'm not talking about if God told you to do something, you did something else and you're reaping the consequences. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about, you know, um, like mourning a loved one. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about long suffering because that's actually a fruit of the spirit. Forbearance. I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that when you're trying to walk in alignment with God, and within a short time time frame, things just keep happening. Just boom, 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 boom. <laughs> back to back to back. Let me give you some examples, okay? With my own life. I'm trying to be transparent, you know. When it came to something as simple like me talking about faith. When God said, okay, start talking about faith on your channel. I was like, all right, true. And I made the decision to do it. First, um, my memory card started acting funny. It was recording, but it wasn't saving. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll just get a new one. All right. But then my lens, my camera lens, put it on top of my fridge to record, walked away literally for like three seconds to go get my battery. My roommate, she's short, she opened the fridge, the vibration of the fridge, it knocked it down. My camera, my, my lens shattered. But thankfully, you know, my friend Dami, she's a photographer. She had an extra lens and we have the same, you know, brand, make it. Like, okay, cool. I was like, all right, that's really weird. Then, my my charger, I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> like, it just disappeared. Like, that thing got on some legs and said bye. Like, I don't know what happened to my charger. I've never found it to this day, but I'm like, okay, let me just order a new charger. You know, two of my friends have those. Let me just use their charger for the time being. I'm like, okay. Then, my screen on my laptop, not working anymore. <laughs> like, the touch, everything was fine, but I could not see the thing. So I was like, Okay, let me just open up the back. Let me see if, you know, maybe I have to reset it because, you know, now newer computers, they don't have like a reset button or whatever. So I opened up the back. It looks really comfortable. Even though I'm a computer engineer, I'm like, mm. Mm. <laughs> let me just give this to, you know, the geek squad in my school. I closed it, tried to turn the computer on. It would not turn on. Now, some people can just kind of take that and be like, ah, no, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> like, you have to have a discerning eye when it comes to things like this. When I started to notice what was happening, I was like, you was really mad, though. You was really shook that someone going to get this Jesus juice, though. Somebody mad. Like, literally, it was an attack on all my technology. All, like, come on, and fam, like, all my technology. It's just crazy. And you really have to just stop and be like, oh, true. Ding, ding, ding. Dad, dad, <laughs> they don't know who I am. I'm a daughter of the most high. They don't know who I am. Come check for me. <laughs> but no, 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 no. I could give you so much other examples. Like last year, you know, I, I'm a computer engineering student and um, I got an internship last year to Virginia to do cybersecurity. Literally the day before I'm supposed to fly out, I scratched someone's car. I've never, all my years of driving, I've never scratched nobody, nothing. They're trying to take, like, what if that would have delayed me and I couldn't have went on my flight? Like, just little things like that. Like, it's just crazy. You know, just the amount of, just like how far the enemy is gonna go to deter you, to distract you, to throw you off course from what God has for you to do. Because the thing is, if you're gonna do something great, God is going to get the glory. <laughs> like, do you can't and I, I just want to speak to someone out there if you're going through something or if you're really trying to walk in alignment with God right now and things just especially in a short amount of time just boom 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 and it's just something that's unnatural I'm not talking about yeah you know people get saved people might die you know you might have financial difficulties I'm not even I'm just talking about weird things <laughs> weird things that are trying to interfere with you fulfilling your purpose you need to pray and cover yourself with the blood of Jesus because this is no joke. Like spiritual warfare is no joke. Like there are principalities and spirits out there that are watching you and observing you and seeing like, hmm, okay, let me, like they're just annoying. They're like, <laughs> like they're just like, it's just aggy. But at the end of the day, we have the victory. Like we have 
in the in Jesus we already have the victory there's no reason to be scared there's no reason to be worried there's no reason to be anxious like honestly God's got this like even seeing these things happen and progress if you guys have ever seen this meme it's someone, it's like a boy, and he's praying. He said, oh God, help me. And he gets hit with like a rock or whatever. He said, oh God, where were you? Why'd you help me? And then you see Jesus like this, stretched out. Oh, you can't see me. But stretched out, and he protected from all this other stuff. He said, you good, fam? <laughs> you know, that's basically what it is. And I even thank God that I'm like, I'm able to see these things because God's protected me from so much more. Like really, what can these things do to me besides try to deter me off of my path and what I'm supposed to be doing? They can't do anything. They can't really touch me. <laughs> they can't like, but the fact that I'm like, wow, God, like I, <laughs> I see what you try to protect me from. Like, <laughs> like I'm not dead. Nobody died around me. I'm like, all these things could be easily replaced. Like I'm someone who's very like, um, a very grateful person so yeah things like this it's it's inconvenient at best but you know like yeah so i just wanted to just really encourage anyone like if you are really trying your best to live out your purpose like don't be deterred don't be deterred like don't be afraid you know just keep pushing forward keep pushing forward like god's got you just i just want to say this just so that Whoever is watching, like you are aware of what is happening spiritually, and just cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover like me. I had tch, once after the third, no, no. I think I, at the end, like once my laptop turned off, I said, hey, nope, nope. Prayed over all my technology. Prayed over everything. Like, mm, be careful. Be really careful. Um, you know. So, yeah, that's really all I want to say. Um, I just want to quickly close this out in prayer. So, just pray. Father God, we just thank you so much right now, Lord. We just thank you so much for loving us, for being for us, for caring for us. God, we are so grateful. Um, I just want to just pray over anyone who is watching this, Lord. I just want to cover them with the blood of Jesus, Father God. I just want to cover them with the blood of Jesus. I ask that you protect them, God. I ask that you protect them, Lord, that they continue to walk in their purpose and alignment with you, Lord. I pray that they just continue, that you continue to lead them and guide them, Lord, that you make the path clear, that you make the road clear for anyone who is watching this, Lord, that they will be not deterred, Lord, they will not be denied, Father God. Lord, I pray that you build doors for them where there were no doors before, and I just pray that you just continue to lead them towards their destiny, towards their purpose, God, and that just continue to walk with you lord we just thank you so much thank you so much for this platform god and i just pray that it continues to grow and reach whoever you need it to reach god we thank you so much god we love you in jesus mighty name i pray amen <sighs> yeah um my i'm gonna be really honest with you guys god um yeah this is really out of my comfort zone i'm just trying to be more transparent because i know that <sighs> the harvest is plain but the workers are few so it might not be for one person, but it's going to be for someone else. There's someone out there who had to hear this. And I'm just trying my hardest to start being obedient and just really just step out on faith and really just do what I have to do. But um, if this made any sense to you and if you like videos like this, please leave a comment. Um, even if you don't believe in God, whatever, you're still on this faith walk. If you have questions, just keep the comment section just very like respectful. Like I just want this to be like a place of just growth and community so yeah that's all i have for you guys today i'll see you guys later bye